Shalom, I'm your brother Jeremiah, back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, Lord will, it be edifying. Before I start off, all praise, all honor, and all glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakagodash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of His Son, our Lord and our Savior, the Rakagodash being the Holy Spirit. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And just right here, man, this is a quick clip, you know, going into a couple of Edomites, you know, <clears throat> professing the downfall of their kingdom, you know, this wicked kingdom that is, you know. And uh, it's all according to the scriptures, you know. Esau, Edom, he knows that his kingdom is coming to an end. And we, we the prophets, you know, start with the apostles and the elders on down. We have been professing the downfall of this wicked kingdom, you know, for, for some time. You know, not me. I, I've been in for a short period of time compared to uh, even elder brothers, you know, and especially in comparison to the apostles, all right? But, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh the Lord is bringing this place down, this wicked kingdom uh, of Esau, Edom, the wicked, the devil that the Bible speaks of. So let me go ahead and play this clip. I am an Edomite. My kingdom is finished. I am at my end. I am an Edomite. I am an Edomite. I am a <laughs> And there you have it, man. The basis of men. You know, the wicked, the devil that the Bible speaks of, professing that their kingdom is coming to an end. And it's all according to scripture. So let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> and uh, I got this picture queued up here because in the, in the words of the High priest uh, Yaquab, it says, if a nigga can't get it, we're moving on. You know, and you got a particular camp, I believe, GLCC. You know, they, they're completely bugged out of their minds, teaching that uh, that Edomites can make it. You know, or any man, for that matter, within any camp, teaching that Esau, Edom, or any heathen nation can make it. You know, they're bugged out, and that's that's a false doctrine, you know. So if a nigga can't get that, that Esau, Edom, uh, kingdom is coming to an end, you know, we moving on, you know, we're not going to waste no time on them. So let's go ahead and get into these scriptures, man. Here in the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10, it says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay, so we know, we all know, the whole world knows. That Esau, Edom, the so-called white man of today, put the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity. And, and, and as it is written, they're going to go into captivity. And we're going to get a little bit more on that. And we all know, the whole world know, that Esau, Edom, whose blessing is the sword, they killed the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And who are the saints? None other than the Israelites. So we're patiently waiting for the downfall of our enemy, uh, of all the heathen nations. But specifically, we're talking about Esau, Edom, and his rulership. Because he's in rulership right now. So uh, we know, according to prophecy, that Esau, Edom, you know, he pretty much got to be taken out of the way. You know, and then the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. And it all goes back to uh, Jacob and Esau. So Second Edra 6 and 7, it says, Then I answered and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Talking about the end times, which we are in. We're in the end times right now. It says, Or oh, when shall be the end of the first, the end of this age? You know, Esau, you know, he was the uh, came out first and Jacob held the heel of Esau. So Esau is symbolized that Esau, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, was going to rule first. And uh, we're about to get into it. It says, Oh, when shall be the end of the first or the beginning of it that followeth? What comes What comes after this rulership? What comes after the downfall uh, of Esau, Edom? You know, because, you know, constantly throughout their, uh, their their movies, they try to push that, you know, if the, if the Edomites, the so-called white race isn't in power, then the world just comes to an end, you know. 
No, but we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai, the kingdom of heaven is about to be established. And it's going to start by by uh, by way of our Lord Yahweh Shai returning with the heavenly hosts. Okay. And uh, the the Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, uh, via the Rakakadash revealed unto us, you know, that the kingdom of heaven is within us. So, you know, we're, we're speaking it into existence. And when the Lord Yahweh Shai returns with the heavenly hosts, it's going to come to fruition. All right. So verse eight, it says, and he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Who's Jacob? The forefather of the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans of today. Who's Esau? The forefather of the so-called white race. The devil that the Bible speaks of, the wicked, according to the scriptures. Verse 9, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So let me run that, let me run that video back. I'm an Edomite. I'm an Edomite and I will be destroyed. I'm an Edomite and my time is come. I am an Edomite. My kingdom is finished. I am at my end. I am an Edomite. I am an Edomite. I have a that Man, that's a, that's a beautiful video. They know that their time is up, and they know that Israel is next up in power. None of these other heathen nations is next up. The nation of Israel is. Isaiah 14 and 1, it says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the strangers that it's talking about is not talking about these other nations. It's talking about the Israelite foreigners who wake up to the truth. They're going to cleave to the house of Jacob. It says, and the people, now this is talking about Israel as a whole. It says, and their people shall take them. And who is the them? Talking about the heathen nations. And bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So Esau, Edom, within that video saying that he know that he's about to be destroyed. He know that his kingdom is coming to an end. Well, it's all written in, in the scriptures that we're going to take them captives, who captives uh, or we were, you know. And we're going to rule over them because they are our oppressors right now. They've been oppressing us for quite some time. And, and, and in this flesh as a man, it seems like it's been a very long time. But we know in Second Peter's, the third chapter and the eighth verse, I believe, uh, it goes into how uh, a thousand a thousand years is a day to the Lord and a day is a thousand years to roughly paraphrase. All right. So reading on verse three, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. And from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. We serve an Esau on this side. All right. And it's about to come to an end. It starts It starts with the uh, the uh, the prophets uh, chanting down this place through the spirit and power. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Then it's going to manifest. The prophecies are going to come to pass. Isaiah 14, 4, and thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, talking, just talking about this place right here, America, and say, how, how hath the oppress, oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased, talking about America, this place is about to be through. This, this place is on his last leg. Verse 5, it says, the Lord... Have broken the staff of the wicked. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom, and the scepter of the rulers. They're not going to be in rulership. <laughs> when the kingdom of heaven is established, they're not going to be ruling hand in hand with us. So whatever GOCC or whatever these other camps pushing that Edomites can make it, uh, let alone these other nations, that's, that's false. The wicked uh, is about to be taken out of power. And the Lord Yahweh Shah is about to return with the heavenly host on the command of the heavenly father Yahweh and take this devil down and set up the kingdom of heaven. All right. That's what's coming. You know, so uh, <clears throat> I just want to get another precept real quick. Um, 
and Lord Willie don't slip my mind. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Within the apocrypha, um, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter ten, I read at verse four. It says, "The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time He will set over it one that is profitable." Because Esau is not supposed to be the right the the ruler of the earth. Esau Edom is not the rightful ruler of the planet earth the sons of god who we were called before until we got the obtained the name uh, uh israel you know our forefather obtained the name israel from wrestling with the angel thus we being the israelites okay so we are supposed to be the rightful rulers of the planet earth the whole earth including the people even our people are going to benefit from us being in power you know, starting with our Lord Yahweh Shai, of course. He got to get his glory first. He got, he going to obtain the power first. And we going to be joint heirs, Lord will. We be a part of that hopeful elect. Lord willing. Yahweh Ratazah. You know. So the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. Verse 8. Esau, your kingdom is through, man. It says, because of unrighteous dealings. Injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So it's going to go from Esau, Edom's rulership of the planet Earth, unto the Israelites, starting with our Lord Yahweh Shai. So, so this man is through. Let me run that back one more time. Go ahead and speak, Esau. I'm an Edomite. I'm an Edomite, and I will be destroyed. I'm an Edomite, and my time has come. I am an Edomite. My kingdom is finished. I am at my end. Hmm. I am an Edomite. I am an Edomite. I am an Edomite. Boy, them red boys. <laughs> that kingdom is through, man. The Lord is about to set up righteousness in the earth. You know, we can't wait, you know. But we, we, we long suffering right along with the Lord until righteousness be established. So Ecclesiastes 10 and 5, you know, that's a spirit. I didn't realize, you know. Ecclesiastes and Ecclesiastes, because you know the tenth chapter kind of coincide, but it's all through the spirit and power. How about Shimei was shy? Ecclesiastes ten and five. It says, "There's an evil, you know, which I have seen under the sun." Talking about here on the earth, as an error which proceeded from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. Folly is set in great dignity under the rule of the wicked, the devil that the Bible speaks of, Esau, Edom, the Edomites. And the rich sit in low place. We are the rich, the Israelites. We're rich in faith. It starts with our faith. And then the, uh, with faith in Yahweh, we know that the prophecy is going to come to pass. Then we're going to be the rulers of the earth, as we're about to read. Um, it says, verse 7, I have seen servants upon, upon horses who are the servants. The Edomites, they're in rulership. The heathen are in rulership. They are supposed to be servants and handmaids. All right. It says, and princes walk walking as servants upon the earth. The Israelites, we have uh, surely drunk of that cup, as the scriptures say. We, we went through, the, we're in captivity right now. Bruce 3 and 8, it says, uh, uh, let's just go ahead and get it. Not to roughly paraphrase, I, I kind of paraphrase, um, uh, Quoted two two scriptures. Um, so let's just go ahead and get that since I called that. Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. Hear Israel, the commandments of life, give ear to understand wisdom. All right. So that was addressed to Israel. We in captive, okay? But let's go back to Isaiah uh, Isaiah real quick, the 14th chapter. And we'll end it on that. Isaiah 14. Um, Isaiah 14 and 2. It says, and the people shall take them. And the people is going to the Israelites shall take them, talking about the heathens, and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel... Shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, 
And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So it's about to come to an end, man. Let's go ahead and run it back. I'm an Edomite and I will be destroyed. I'm an Edomite and my time has come. I am an Edomite. My kingdom is finished. I am at my end. I am an Edomite. 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 Them boys is through. I'm an Edomite. The Lord will just as edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Shalom.